Welcome to the course Unconventional Machining Process. In this session, we are going to discuss about the effect of process parameters and material removal mechanism in AFM process. Before that, we must understand why AFM is required to reduce friction. Consider this particular example, the turbine plate. The initial roughness value Rea is 1.75 micron. After using AFM, Rea value is 0.4 microns we can get. This is another knee joint. Using this AFM, we can get fine surface finish. To improve fatigue life, reduce generation of crack formation, eliminates vibration, less susceptible to corrosion. Process input parameters of AFM. In this particular diagram, we can understand the parameters controlled by the workpiece configuration and the tooling consist of material hardness, initial surface, material type, passage, geometry, length of passage. Parameters controlled by the media are media viscosity, abrasive type, abrasive size, abrasive concentration, polymer type and concentration. Parameters controlled by the machine are number of cycles, extrusion pressure, media flow speed, flow volume. These parameters determines the AFM process quality. The output responses of AFM are surface finish, axial and radial forces, material removal rate, out of roundness, accuracy. Variation of active crane density with percentage of concentration and mesh size is understood from this particular graph in which active grain density increases with an increase in abrasive concentration and active grain density is higher for a small grain diameter for a specific concentration. Effect of extrusion pressure is noted from this particular graph in which when extrusion pressure increases the RA value varies based on percentage of silicon carbide particles in the media. Effect of plasticizer in abrasive media in which the higher percentage of plasticizer result in less RA value and produce smoother surfaces. Effect of number of cycles on the roughness improvement rate. Here the small abrasive sizes can produce smoother surfaces than larger sizes. Effect of temperature on surface roughness we can understand from this particular graph. It shows that the media at high temperature results in less improvement in surface roughness. Also noted that media can have good machining performance in the first few cycles and then media temperature rise rapidly. Best workable temperature should be below 25 degree centigrade during the AFM process. Material removal mechanism in AFM process. We consider this particular diagram. The left side diagram is two-way AFM process in which we have two cylinders, upper and lower cylinders between we, we can place the workpiece. Here in the first diagram, it indicates the whenever the uh, abrasive uh, media is 
flowing inside this workpiece there may be the two forces are acting one is axial force and another force is radial force due to which due to this axial force the movement of the flow is happened due to the radial force the abrasion happened and the material is removed here we can understand here uh, the some forces f a f r and f c f c is nothing but tangential shear force and v a is velocity of abrasive next we will here the forces acting in a form process are we understood from this particular diagram there may be the shear force acting tangential to this or piece and whenever the this shear force may be divided into two force one is axial force another one is radial force it moves in the axial direction along on the soft polymer then this ax, uh, abrasive particles will remove the surface forces acting in media we can understand from this here the pressure b is acting in visco elastic medium it creates the elastic stress then radial force then it intend the abrasive particles in the workpiece surface another stress is viscous stress it creates the axial force it pushes the intended abrasive particles in axial direction then material removal mechanism in a form process we understand from this particular diagram here the abrasive is moving in uh, f a axial direction the abrasive particle is moving the work piece is roughness uh, that where finishing is happen by this movement of this abrasive then we can get the finished surface then another important term we can note the critical surface roughness change in surface roughness is negligible beyond certain value then it is called critical surface roughness classification of major a from research areas are understand from this particular diagram based on the type of a from machine and the based on the a from process parameters and based on a from monitoring and the performance measures and a from applications we can understand from this particular there thanks for watching this video next video we can see the application advantages of a form process thank you